story for the rainbow fish and terrific toads. I'm sure you guys are all missing being in school right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure you're not spending all your time on your tablets. No, I'm just kidding. I bet you are spending a lot of time on them right now, especially with all your schoolwork being online. But this is a book to remind you about how you should get outside and enjoy, well, the world. So today we're going to read Tech, the Modern Cave Boy by Patrick McDonald. Tech the Modern Cave Boy by Patrick McDonald. Once upon a time, way, way back, a long time ago, or maybe yesterday, there lived a little cave boy named Tech. Tech was pretty much your typical troglodyte child. Yes, he did have a beard, but everything was kind of hairy back then. All cave boys lived in caves, of course, but the problem with this cave boy was that he never wanted to leave his cave, even when his friends came to visit. Hi, Tech. Ugh. In the evening, an eerie glow came from Tech's cave, making it impossible to see the twinkling stars above. Tech stayed alone in his cave room, glued to his phone, his tablet, and his game box all day, all night, all the time. You should have never invented the internet, Tech's mom grunted to Tech's dad. Outside, the real world was evolving, but Tech couldn't have cared less. Tech missed out on all the winter fun during the Ice Age. He never even learned his dinosaur names, identifying them as Whatchamacallitosaurus, Who's Datasaurus, or Flying I Don't Give a Dactyl. The hours, days, and months were slipping by. My brain may be the size of a walnut, but even I know that it is not a healthy situation, said his best friend Larry. I wish Tech would come out and play. Hmm. Sad face. Tech's parents tried everything to pry him away from his gadgets, but Tech wouldn't budge. I need to light a fire under that boy's butt, grumbled Tech's dad. Except I haven't invented fire yet. No one could get Tech's attention, not even the tribe's grand pooba, his high muckety mucks, nor Darla O'Duddy and her dinosaurs for a better tomorrow. All seemed lost until... Big Papa, the village volcano, had an idea. He could make fire. He could shake things up big time. So Big Papa popped. <gasps> the eruption shot Tech and his phone, tablet, and game box out of his cave and into the sky. Tech crashed. He was totally disconnected. Tech awoke, breathing in the sweet, fresh air, basking in the warm sun, and tickled by the cool grass. He wondered where he was. He looked around and discovered a dragonfly, a tiger lily, a ginkgo tree, a hairy elephant, the hairy people, an awesome awesomeosaurus, and the big beautiful world. Tech left his gadgets behind and ran to find his good friend Larry. On his way, he kissed his dad and mom Ugh, groaned his dad. A need to invent shaving cream. Tech hopped onto a wheel, plucked a fresh apple, whistled to a dodo bird, and surprised his sleeping friend. Beep! Tech and Larry laughed and played all day in the sunny garden. And in the evening, they reached for the glorious stars. The end. Did you guys like that book? I liked it. I especially liked it when Tech realized that there was a great big world out there outside of his TV and his game and his tablet and his phone. But I also kind of thought it was sort of funny when I was looking at all the pictures of the Harry Cave Boy. It was a pretty good book. It made me laugh. Anyway, I thought this was a perfect book for you guys. And I hope that you'll come back again tomorrow and see what our next book is going to be on Read Me a Story. Bye, guys.
Thank you.